think I'm the only Indian lady <laughs> that's on a motorcycle. <laughs> you know, the, the people have never seen me. They always see me in my, my sari or like, you know, entertaining. But when, when they saw me the first time on a motorcycle, they said, oh my God, that's you? I was like, yeah, that's me. And, uh, you know, I, I'm so blessed that I, I have a husband that we both have a lot in common. So our likes and dislikes are very similar. Nalini Taylor was born in Johannesburg, South Africa, where she enjoyed many active pursuits. My dad was a professional tailor and he was very much involved in the Indian community there in South Africa. So he was always like the chairman. He was also involved in politics. Um, my mom used to help my dad over there. We owned a business over there, so we had the, the tailoring shop and also had the men's outfitting shop. We are, come from six siblings, so we are three brothers and three sisters. Growing up in South Africa was uh, just like kind of growing up here. Um, people don't use elephants and lions <laughs> for transportation. <laughs> we didn't have computers back then, so everything was done out outdoors and flying kite and playing ball and, you know, baseball. We, we would play cricket over there. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, school, um, we had a speech period where you actually go in front of class and start talking. And so me and my twin sister decided, this is so boring. People will cut off articles from a newspaper and start talking. I said, we should do something different, make it something a little exciting. Just before this class starts, we would talk about a situation and we would go up and dramatize it. So we would say, whatever you say, we'll just follow up and we'll, we'll just dramatize it. So we became really famous for doing that. So we had to go to different classes and show the, the uh, different uh, standards like, okay, you know, you can actually dramatize a situation. And so we, we uh, were known for that. The twins were known for a drama. <laughs> they would call us horrible and terrible though. <laughs> After graduating, Nalini embarked on her banking career immediately working at a South African bank for five years, until a New York vacation trip ended in an engagement to the man of her dreams. When I bumped into him, it was like, I just knew it. It was like love at first sight. I, I, there was no doubt in my mind that this is the guy, but I didn't want to let him know that. So of course, you know, our family culture, we had to meet, I had to meet all the family. The Taylor family is a huge family, so I had to meet all the family. And then they decided, okay, myself and him, we should, he should take me out somewhere so we could have some private conversation. And in that private conversation, I'm thinking to myself, is he going to propose to me now or not? And so yeah, he makes the toast, he made the first toast. And so it was almost like two hours later, he proposed. So I mean, hours later, I wasn't sure whether I was coming or going, but I just knew it was him. This was the guy I was going to get married to. So two hours later, he proposed to me. Two months later, I got married to him. And I'm still married to him. Actually, we just celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary, May 24th of this year. So we celebrate 30 years together. It doesn't feel 30 years, though. And in 2013, Nalini came to Regions, where she now works in Decatur, Illinois, as a branch team leader. My customers is very important to me. Like, you know, I care about my customers. When they come to me, I put myself in their shoes, you know, uh, because this is their heart and money. So they want some advice and guidance from me. And uh, you know, regions provide that advice, guidance, and education for the customers. So it's very important to me that I, I do that for them. And when I put myself in their shoes, I want to make sure that I'm taking care of their needs and their financial needs, their financial goals. Um, it, it's just, it's very important to me. She is just so delightful. I mean, you can tell when you meet her that you're the purpose of her day. Really, whoever she's interacting with is the purpose of her day. And you can just tell her commitment to our customers in every interaction. It's great to see. Because I listen to them. I listen to what they're saying, and, uh, and I want to help them with whatever the issue is. I want to make sure that I'm able to help them. You know, she makes you feel comfortable. And, and you're not under stress. Uh, you're kind of chilled out. and. She just uh, takes care of you, and you can't beat that. that that's, she's one in a million. She felt our passion, and she joined in with us. 
And I like to say thanks be to God and, and Nalini's help, we're here today. We got our first business loan through um, Regions, and Nalini was instrumental in that. I became a black belt in 2007. When you become a black belt, it's part of the black belt for them to teach karate. And I used to teach the karate, I used to teach kickboxing. In 2007, Nalini would go on to take third place in the World Championship Tournament held in Las Vegas. Today, she uses her martial arts expertise as a force for good in her community. My name is Nalini Taylor, and I'm here to show some uh, self-defense move for your ladies. We are the only domestic violence program in this city, so we serve any victim of domestic violence, um, men, women, and their children. I have really enjoyed getting to know Nalini. Um, she offered to do some self-defense classes for the residents in shelter, and I think that's a great idea. I mean, it will be very well recepted, I can guarantee. From her days in South Africa to her community work and banking career, Nalini Taylor's zest for life is the result of her commitment to making a difference for everyone around her. I'm very honored to get this award and that they nominated me, you know, the committee, and, uh, and I keep asking, why me? You know, there are so many other wonderful associates there who have done tremendous work. Uh, and are doing so well, um, and they keep saying, oh, you deserve it. But it's, it's not about me, it's, it, it's about my team, my associates, and we work as a team. The branch that I'm in is like a family to me, it's my family. So my, my partners, my manager, we, we, we all work together. And when we do that, actually we're helping the customer, because we're giving everything what the customer needs, it's just not one angle of it. We're doing the whole 360 with the customer.